welcome back to my youtube channel um today i will show you how to convert a single um, band band pass filter into a dual band band pass filter so as you can see here we have um, a three pole single band band pass filter so when we convert this to a dual band filter we are going to have six poles so you can see here that we have three poles and here we have uh, three poles each uh, which makes it a six band um, a dual band filter so each band will retain the three poles so we're going to have a six pole um, dual band filter we're also going to um, simulate the results and see what we should achieve now before we proceed can i encourage us to kindly subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't done so already please go and subscribe i will be uploading a lot of videos which should help you in your uh, microwave filter design studies however you need to subscribe for you to be able to receive um, an automatic alert each time I upload a new video let us start now by um, um logging into ads and making a conversion as we can see here on my screen so i'm just going to uh go into ads as usual ads um and log into ads and again as i mentioned in my previous videos i'm using ads 2022 you can use any older version of ads schematics you should be fine especially from 2011 to date now, um, first of all, I'm going to open my workspace because this project assumes that uh, you've already designed a single band filter. So that's what we assume. So you should, uh, you should know how to design a single band filter at this stage. If you haven't done that, please go to my YouTube channel and look for a video on, um, on basics of ADS schematic. There you will learn how to design a single band filter. So here we have a three-pole single band filter. You can see this is a, 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 a one resonator representing one pole, a second resonator representing the second pole, and a third resonator representing the third pole. Here we have uh, the J inverters, one, two, three, four. Now I've converted the J inverter uh, to capacitor-only network, as you can see here. So the next thing is for me to simulate this filter to see what it looks like. If I click on simulate, so you can see here that I have um, a single band filter that has three poles. So now our target today is to see how we can convert this single band filter into a dual band filter. I'm going to close this results because this is what we already know how to do. And then my next step would be to transform this circuit. So how do I transform this circuit? The first thing I will do is I'll copy these three poles, one, two, three, and paste it at the top to form the next three pole. So I'm going to copy from here, um, just from here, up to here, okay? So um, I've copied um, this one band, uh, sorry, one pole, the second pole, as a third pole okay i'm going to do ctrl c ctrl c then ctrl v to paste this here so i'm going to paste um this uh, design here I'm just going to paste which is um ctrl v if you like or just click i just click once and i've pasted that i can escape or release that so now i have another three more poles at the top and three poles at the existing uh, uh, single band filter is here. Now I have to make the right co uh, connection to make this work. So first of all, I will um, delete this link here and also delete, I want to keep every pole separate. So now I have uh, each pole separate is one pole, two and three, right? Now, I need to make sure that each of these J inverters retain the values for the uh, middle pole J inverter here, so which is this M12. So this is already M12, M12. So that these two are fine. 
uh, this one I need to change this one to uh, M12 as well. So I'm going to change this to M12 and I'll change this one to M12 as well and this one to M12. Okay, so I now have all three uh, J inverters having the same value as the middle uh, uh, pool J inverter here, which is the M12 here in the middle. All right, now the next thing is for me to connect um, these three poles to the existing single band filter. So, how do I do that? I'm going to connect um, uh, this one, the first pool here to the first pool here, and uh, the second pool to the second, and the third pool here to the third. So maybe I can just create a little space to make this connection easy. Um, maybe I'll move this, uh, it just make a little space, right? So I'm gonna um, maybe a bit, just just a bit. Okay, so and I can connect from that point there to that point. That's one connection. Okay, now. The next one is to uh, connect from that point to that point. So I'm going to um, um, pick another line. So I'm just going to drop this, uh, pick the wire. Connect from this point here to that point. Um, if you don't get it, just, you can just um, connect uh, to this point. Um, again, I'll just move this a bit, just, I mean, for aesthetics, doesn't mean means nothing just for aesthetics maybe i should move this a bit further uh, just to have more more space so I'm gonna, i can move this a bit further to let's say somewhere here okay right good so i can uh, now i can connect now so okay put it there that's good oh so that's not connected i'm gonna do it again. Good. That's good. now connected. All right. So uh, I'll do the same for this. Uh, probably move this a bit just to have more room. Uh, move this closer. All right. Okay. Now I connect this one as well. Okay. And now I connect this final one to this as well. Okay, so you now see how I've linked them. Now, with this connection, I don't need to make any changes in the setting. All the v values are the same. Nothing has changed. So this is still my single band filter. All I've done is make sure that the J inverters um, in the, on the uh, three the new three poles retain the values for the middle J inverters. The L and C values remain the same. Now I have this, I need to simulate to see what this looks like. If I click on simulate here, you can save your work if you like, you can simulate. So you can see now that I have a dual band filter by just making that simple short transformation, okay? So this is basically what I thought I should show you today. Please go and subscribe to this channel to receive all my videos if you haven't already done that. Um, at this point, I'm going to just save. I'll close this window, save my work. And that is basically um, the end of what we have to do today. So now I've been able to convert single band, band pass filter into a dual band and pass filter. Thank you for attending and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.